Hi, this is Russ McClay, and this is a beginner's tutorial to Space Engine. Space Engine is a freeware program. You do a search on the net, you can find it. It's like an eight to nine hundred megabyte download, which is equivalent to a low resolution movie. And um, I want I have written down some notes to try to keep this as short as possible. So the first thing is after you install the program and run it, you're going to see a screen like this. And the first thing we're going to do here is a very short uh, and sweet try, uh, try it, keeping this simple. So we're going to go to settings. The only thing you really need to do in settings at this point is uh, turn the music It'll be norm up to here. There's space music. We're just going to turn that all the way to zero. Okay, that's, and once you set that, all you need to do is click the uh, close button. And then we're going to go back to back and the planetarium. This is where it all happens. There's an editor. There's a lot of settings, uh, and you can exit. But the planetarium is what we want. So let's click on the planetarium. Now this is opened up to the, the last scene that I was at. Uh, we see a, a lot of information here which can be turned off and on. I also have turned on something uh, that's an extra which is shows the current frames per second and the average frames per second which is showing me how well my graphics card is performing. Uh, if you don't edit the config you won't see that but otherwise you'll see everything else that's on the screen. Um, the thing here is the re this uh, information here on the left is we are focused on a particular uh, planet and this is information about it. It's uh, really a lot of information but again this tutorial is, is for a beginner and what we want to do the end result is be able to do a nice screen cap. So first of all we turned off the music. The other thing I'd say is um, that you need to uh, Go into where you install the program, find the directory, and in there, there will, in that directory, there'll be another directory called docs. And inside of that, there is a file called uh, what is it? That there is a file in docs called readme underscore eng dot txt. Readme text English. Open that up and print it out. It's four pages and it shows all the key commands of how you can do everything in this program and having that printed out in your hand when you're playing with this thing will completely change the way you do things. I mean of course you can open it as a digital file and switch between windows but really having this thing in your hand you can highlight it, you can underline things, I mean that's how you get to know this program is that one document file printed out. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at is the sidebars and uh, if you move the mouse over to the left, you'll notice the sidebar comes out. And all these things, if you hover over them, they will uh, have a little tip about what it is. So this is the graphics. Uh, this is a graphics uh, link, things you can do with the graphics. And there are many other things here. On the right, there is also another menu of items, a, a uh, pop out, and in the bottom there's also another. So those are the three that uh, are very important to know. <coughs> Excuse me. The next thing you'd want to do is is go full screen if you're going to capture things. And full screen is uh, Control Enter to go in and out of full screen, which I'm not going to do right now because I'm recording this at a specific size, but. When you're in the program, control enter will give you the full size of your monitor resolution. The next thing that's very important to know is that our home, Earth, is a good place to go back to if you get lost in space. So if you hold down the shift key and hit H, you will notice that the first level will be the Milky Way. That means that no matter where you are in the universe, you hit shift H and you will uh, have a a link to the Milky Way and then you just hit G which means go and G is one of the most important keys in Space Engine so now if I hit shift H again now the focus is more narrow we've gone to Sol the Sun so if I hit G I'll go to our Sun and the third time if I hit uh, actually I hit 
shift G which is not what I wanted but I'll hit shift H and now it says the earth and now I will hit G and if you hit double G you'll go faster so G or double G and now the program is going to go home which is very nice, it's a very convenient way. There goes the sun, there goes the moon, and there is Earth in all her glory. Floating in space, the blue marble. So, that's pretty cool. So, you know, if you get lost in the universe, shift H, Milky Way, shift H again, sun, shift H again, Earth, G, go. Now, the next thing one needs to know in the program, uh, very fundamentally, is, is how to navigate around. So the first thing to know is that the mouse wheel, if I roll the mouse wheel up and down, it will change the velocity. Okay? Velocity means how fast you're going. So you can see here we're in kilometers. If I keep going, now we're in the speed of light. I keep going. And now we're in astronomical units and keep going, and soon we'll be in parsecs, which is incredibly fast. A parsec, I believe, is what? One parsec is 19 trillion miles, something like that. So let me show you this. I'm going to set it to like 390 kilometers. Now, <coughs> there is the WASD keys, which is like most games, but because I'm a lefty, I tend to use the arrow keys and the number pad key. So I'm going to hold down the down arrow right now. And you can see that Earth is slowly moving away. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel a few times and increase the speed. I'm rolling the mouse wheel up. And now I'm going to keep rolling it up, keep rolling it up, keep rolling it up, keep rolling it up. And you can see the speed just gets faster and faster and faster. And I'm going to press the up arrow key. And wow, it just went right by us. That's because the speed is so fast that, uh, you know, you lost the planet. So I'm going to go back. And see, now I'm lost. I'm lost in space. Shift H once, twice, three times, G. Now we go right back to Earth. And uh, that's a very uh, assuring thing to be able to come back to your planet. And there she is. Notice I use she. Is that politically correct? <laughs> okay. Um, so, we've learned the mouse wheel, how to increase and decrease speed. And I was using the free mode. There's three m modes of flying. One is the free mode, which is default. But there's also a spaceship mode and aircraft mode, which you can learn later. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is that you can click on any object that you see in the sky. So if I look at an object, there's a kind of a reddish object there, I'll click on it. And now you can see these pointers showing it's been selected. It says it's a right bright giant. And now I'm going to click, not click, I'm going to press the key G to go there. So I press G and it starts moving towards that object, which is, in this case, a star. It, the program's nice because it kind of eases in. Okay, this happens to be a binary star system. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click with the mouse. And when you right-click your, when you select something and right-click, you can get info about it. Uh, you can browse the planetary system of the star. You can add to locations, which is very important. That's really what I wanted to show, is that you can, if you find a cool place, you highlight whatever it is, a planet, a star, and you can click Add to Locations. And I'll do that. And you can see I have some locations that have been added. Here it is, a binary star uh, that's been added. So, I mean, it's already been added. If I close it, that's fine. Uh, if I right click here, I've clicked on a, a, wait a minute, I think I just clicked another object, but that's okay. Okay, red bright giant, that was the original one. Right click. Now, uh, we can center that object into the screen. Very nice. Um, we can also hit F2. 
which will bring up the planets that are associated with this and because it's a binary star each one of these may have planets so I right click on one of these and on the other and I don't see that they have any associated planets which is okay um, but what we're going to do now is we'll just we're going to pick another star we're going to go to that I'm going to press double G double G means even faster to get there and uh, again we'll use the uh, the mouse wheel and see we just flew right by that thing because it's too fast so roll down roll down let's see if we get the speed here going okay that's pretty close right I'm just using up and down arrow keys again F2 to close that F2 open it and now we see that this particular star has many planets <coughs> so the next thing we're going to do is pick one of these planets that's an interesting planet that's part of the star if I hit O I can see the orbits of how this uh, planet relates to the Sun where its orbit is and now I'm going to press G again to go to that planet I'm going to press F2 to close that uh, planet dialog and here we go we're going to come right down into where this planet is okay again I'm going to right click on it as we did before and we can see that we can get info about it which would show you something like this you can edit this information uh, we can see the physical information the orbital information atmospheric we'll close that and right click again and then we're going to say land on object okay now we are now on this planet and the way you get around this is you have your number lock on you can use the number keys uh, arrow keys to move around uh, this takes a little bit of practice and also you can set the resolution higher um, this is more detail if you want to uh, see what things look like one of the most important keys to know once you land on a planet is the N key END press the N key and this will align the, the horizon um, we just happened to land in a right way so the horizon was already there so I'm going to uh, kind of turn and look around on this planet see what we see and then I'm going to increase the resolution so here I can go over here to this left sidebar and hit settings and I'm going to turn up the level of detail this is landscape level of detail and you normally want to have this very low when you're cruising around but once you land you want to take some still shots so you can put this up this is a very graphic intensive uh, calculation and we should be able to see now that it's uh, resing a much higher resolution of this particular landscape and we can kind of zoom into this a little bit see what's happening scroll around uh, very nice you can see star refraction these are things you can change and modify they have lens flares that you can adjust um, some that are built in and whatnot okay so this is a very good example of something that we can do you, I've taken you here and now how do we do a screen cap again remember I told you in the beginning control enter makes the program full screen now all we have to do to take a screen cap is press F11 you press F11 and you'll see on the screen it will say writing writing a file see up here writing that file there it is now mine are set to TGA that's something you can set in the, the configuration you have to manually edit it but by default it's a JPEG and by default it puts it into a directory called screenshots of where you installed the program so when you install the program pay attention where you installed it and you can go there look for the subdirectory screenshots so you know I've got this lovely uh, planet that I'm on and I'm just gonna hit F11 I'm gonna kind of move over here maybe get another shot here and then F11 again and um, you know you can just have a blast you can, and and you can also again you can navigate into this landscape using the same thing mouse wheel 
um, with the up and down arrow keys. You can also um, maneuver by holding the right and left mouse buttons down and just dragging the mouse around. Um, the, the number pad keys also work very nice. And so that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of focus on this planet. I'm going to hit the down arrow key, which means I'm leaving. I'm going to use the mouse wheel and scroll out, scroll out. I'm increasing the speed. I'm just gently, you know, moving the mouse wheel a couple of notches at a time, holding down the key, holding down the down arrow key. And see, there's a little, it had to, Res. Now this, what, what you just saw there, is because I have the LOD so high. So we go back over here, and now that I'm leaving the planet, I don't really need that high LOD anymore. Because now I'm flying. So now I'm just going to just keep going out. Keep going out. I'm going to keep increasing it just one notch at a time on the, the mouse wheel. I'm just keep going out. I'm going to hit the semicolon key here. That turns off the pointer. Let's see, I'm going to refer to my notes here on the interface UI. And what is the key here I'm looking for? The console. Is that it? Switch mode, normal, control, control curly Q. How about that? There we go. And now I'm going to just keep increasing and increasing the speed. Out, out, out. And I'm going to show you one more little thing before we leave this particular solar system. Now I'm going to keep increasing the speed. Now you can see now we're actually moving away from this system. And the last thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to hit the letter O, which is for orbits. And we can see the orbits here, which is very cool. And I'm going to go out even further again rolling the mouse wheel to get that speed because the, the further out you get the faster you need to go to be able to see these things. I'm going to go in just a little bit and then I'm going to <coughs> here's a very interesting thing you can speed up and slow down time so I'm going to speed up time by clicking or by pressing L L L L L L L L L L and now we can see well you see it's wobbling because my focus is on a, a binary star so that makes a lot of sense. If I picked the berry center, that wouldn't happen. Let's go in. I wonder if I can pick the berry center. <laughs> Let's stop the time and go in here. Whoops, see there, there we go. We need to let's see. Let me see the numbers here. Slow way down. There we go. We're coming in. I'm not sure if I can pick the berry center. If I can pick the berry center then. Um, we'll be able to do that orbiting thing a lot nicer. See, I'm slowing it down. Oh, there's the berry center. I'm not sure if I can select the berry center. Let's see here. Well, I'm not sure if I can or not. At any rate, that's a quick tutorial. Hope it helps. Um, if it's interesting, please let me know, because I'm happy to do more. This program's a huge book of learning. That's it for this one.